When it comes to modern day smartphones, one thing that I'm noticing with brands that they are making from the mid-range all the way to the high-end range devices is mostly about how they look, how fancy they look, how, the, how fancy the screen looks, the curvy dis, uh, display that they usually have. And one thing that you find with the, these modern day designs is the fancier they look, the more delicate they are. Well, this smartphone that we will be reviewing today is one that has tried to keep it simple, but also has gone back to a feature that not many smartphones seem to have, and that is durability. What's up guys, my name is Dennis Overo, this is TechWiz, and this banged up phone that I'm holding here is the Oppo A60. So, like I mentioned before, one thing that you notice about the Oppo A60 is how simple it is. Of course, it's supposed to be a price-friendly smartphone, and price-friendly smartphones tend to come with a simple design. The Oppo A60 comes with a plastic back um, with a glass, of course, uh, screen, a 6.67-inch display. But from the design itself, you can tell that the phone is affordable. It has a plastic frame that tries to give it that durable look. It is very simple, but also tries to be a little bit classy at the back. I especially like this blue option that comes with some fancy look, especially when you shine it against the light. It, the camera bump itself houses two lenses with a flashlight. So, like I said before, it's a very simple looking phone. And for the price range, I definitely would not fault Oppo for going with such a simple, sleek, and lightweight phone. So, like I mentioned before, it, Oppo A60 is a price-friendly smartphone. It's supposed to be an affordable option if you're looking to upgrade a daily driver that you have right now. So, what are some of these specs that make it a price-friendly smartphone? It comes with a Snapdragon 680 processor that is supposed to be powerful enough for running your daily apps on a daily basis. When it comes to running games on a daily basis, I would say probably run the simple games. Heavy graphic games would probably leave you a little bit frustrated, especially with lagging or glitching. But it's a price-friendly smartphone, so I wouldn't fault them uh, for that. Of course, when it comes to the camera bump, it comes with a 50 megapixel main shooter. That is good enough. Not the best when it comes to such price ranges, but offers you really clear and vivid shots. And also you have a ton of features on the camera app that you can get to choose from, whether it's um, videos, whether it's the pro, the panorama, you get all such kind of fun features on the camera app. So I would say on your daily photography or videography, you get to have fun with this smartphone. It comes with a 6.67 inch display that is big enough and also not so big that you can't reach all four corners. On my daily usage, I found myself reaching all four corners with one hand and it's bright enough at a 950 nits, about right about there, give or take. So on the indoors, it will be bright enough for you. Outdoors, you will probably struggle depending on how bright the sun is at the day that you have your phone outside. One thing that I love also about this uh, phone on the Oppo A60 is that it comes with a side mounted fingerprint scanner rather than the in display, which for some smartphones, especially for phones using an LCD display, for example, as the Oppo A60, you might struggle with responsiveness over time as you get to upgrade your software over time. We also come to the battery, which is huge, the 5000 milliamp hour battery, which is big enough and is supposed to last you almost over a day on a single charge. So I did not have any problems when it came to power or when it came to daily usage and you know the power itself it's fast enough when it comes to charging and also the battery will last you more than a day on a single charge now that we mentioned all that price friendly octa core 680 processor what makes this phone special 
Well, one thing that Oppo seemed to market this phone a lot when they were launching this phone, even internationally and also in the country in Kenya, is its durability. As I said before, it comes with a plastic frame. So as you look at the phone on your first impressions, you can guess to probably underestimate it and look down upon it. But based on the videos and the advertisements that we saw from Oppo that they are trying to use or to sell that durability for the Oppo A60, well, we put it to the test. We used it to cut vegetables, we used those vegetables to beat up this phone, we threw it around, outside, on outdoors, and after all that, we decided to wash it in tap water to see how durable it is. And one thing that I will give credit for is the durability, since as I'm holding this phone right now, it is still responsive on everything. Whether it is playing your games, whether it is making calls, whether it is on the daily apps and scrolling, the 90 hertz display still works. It might be banged up a lot. It might have some dents, but this is after intensive physical tests. And when I talk intensive, from the clip that you're seeing right now, they were very intensive. We made sure that we put this Oppo A60 to the ultimate test. And based on Oppo, as they say, it has a military grade or militarily graded um, durability, I would say, based on the plastic frame, it held up its own. And the fact that this phone, despite all the scratches, despite all the dents, all the dirt, it is still functioning, it was really, really impressive to see that this phone still lasts and is still working and is still responsive. And look, the display still hasn't cracked one bit. So when it comes to the phone itself, I will totally, totally give credit to Oppo for the design and for making sure that anyone who buys this phone has an impressively durable phone. This phone is around, I would say, 29,000 Kenya shillings, give or take, based on the retail launch price. But it might vary based on the shop or based on the third party um, shop that you, on the retail store that you choose. Well, let me know from you guys whether you would choose this phone based on the specs or based on the durability. But so far, we have been very, very impressed. Well, that's it for me. This has been fun. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.